Hello my friends and welcome back to Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri Alien Crossfire Planetary Pack Episode 20 and I'm almost out of breath saying all that. If you've been following the channel at all you'll know it's been two years since I did the previous episode and uh, I tried to review it and I just kind of got myself more lost as to what was going on because uh, it's really hard to look at this screen and look at the video and try to relate to what I was doing. So unfortunately, I'm coming in pretty darn green, so you'll have to excuse any faux pas or any mistakes and uh, not knowing what I'm doing and uh, just generally forgetting about stuff. But you know what? Maybe it's half the fun right there. So we're going to continue on. Uh, I'm not going to look at too much other than maybe zoom out and just see where everybody is. Uh, let's pull this up here for a sec. Okay, we have two alien races left. Uh, we've There's been some elimination going on. I would think we started with seven and we're down to four. So three factions have been eliminated at this point. Uh, we have Himini and Mar who are dead enemies and they will fight each other to the death. Uh, one's a usurper, one's a protector, I believe, of the planet. And we also have Deidre, which we have a pact with, and she's also very planet friendly. So we got to watch that we don't do too much eco damage. Uh, she's our only friend on the entire planet. And we also have Santiago, who is way up in this corner here, not doing so well. So I'm not too worried about the Spartans. Um, yeah, Deidre's actually pretty big. This is her here, I believe. So she's sort of sprawling the map over to this side as well. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out where everybody is here. Uh, this is us, the gray. I think it's gray. I am partially colorblind, so excuse me if I'm not doing that right. But yeah, him and he, I think he's up in this area somewhere, if I recall. And this is Mar here. We're kind of crushing him. So we're uh, in the middle of taking him out. So that's kind of the overall picture. Uh, I don't know what's going on if we come into council. Elect governor council. Uh, let's just maybe have a look here. Oh, I can't close that right now. So um, let's maybe zoom back in. Uh, let's zoom in so we can see what's going on. And yeah, let's go to the council. I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, new govern. I don't know why I can't see that, but. Uh, Okay, we got different policies and stuff we can enact. Elect planetary governor. Let's just do this. Uh, yeah, we're probably not going to get there. Oh yeah, we had the yeah eliminated the university. That's right, half of our empire I think is a university. The space hippies, I think we were calling them, and we uh, eliminated them. Um, forget what happened to them. I think somebody else took them out. And then there's two more factions, which are the aliens. So we're kind of lean on actual human factions uh, in the game. And if I recall correctly, somebody made a comment that the uh, the two alien factions in the game actually unbalance quite a bit. And I think just not having as many alien factions or human factions might be the cause for the imbalance. But uh, Deidre is definitely the planetary governor. Uh, we will, won't even come close to even... Uh, taken her so we might as well just vote for ourselves or maybe even abstain but we're pretty friendly with her uh, we're looking to transcend so all we have to do is beat her in tech and uh, she can probably be our friend for the rest of the game so maybe we'll do that here beat her retained yeah we definitely would not have uh, been able to do much else on that okay so what were we up to I think as far as uh, terraforming goes, I might just automate all these uh, rather than uh, trying to figure out just what uh, what tiles are doing what and what we should build. I think uh, that might be just the best thing to do. I'm, I'm guessing the AI will do a better job than I can at this point. So maybe we'll just do that and then you don't have to watch me struggle through all that. So we'll just fully automate. Okay, so uh, there's a couple... A base is down here. I think we're kind of working our way around here, if I recall. Let's just come in here and have a look. Yeah, we got two uh, ships in here. And we're building a garrison unit. I might just rush that, actually. Just to get that Request done, we can uh, 
we can utilize the two uh, ships to do other stuff. So let's just spend the 37 credits. And we'll take care of that next turn. And now I don't recall, do I need land units over here to take land cities? I know I can take the uh, the sea-bound uh, uh, cities, uh, bases. I know I can take the sea-bound ones with ships, but can I do that with land? I can't remember. I might be thinking of like civilization on that. So, well, let's just come over and have a look and see what we can do. I have no idea what's in here, so let's just do this. <laughs> Okay, and here's the other place, and we're building a garrison unit here. It's going to be 14 turns. My God, that's pathetic. Um, how much? Request confirmation. Well, we can afford it, I guess. What is our money doing? I should go have a look at our economy. Uh, let's see, HQ, energy banks. Oh, plus 65 a year. Oh, we're rocking. Okay, we can afford to buy a few things then. And what's inside? We got a helicopter. And I guess we'll take this uh, ship out and go do something with that. Let's just keep hammering on this place, I guess. Wow, that's quick. I have no idea what's going on here. The Isle of the Deep is really not a single creature, but a colony of thousands of individual tubules an aquatic vector of the mind worm which terrorizes planets' continents. Over its lifetime, certain tubules secrete a tough glue-like substance which hardens to form the characteristic shell that floats the colony and creates the appearance of a rogue island. Lady Deidre Sky, a comparative biology of planet. Okay, new technology, uh, Centauri Preserve, the Xeno Empathy Dome, okay. Very genetic. Okay, I get, I'm thinking this is uh, mind worm stuff, so we can produce more. Yeah, I love the deep is actually the mind worm transport, so uh, just more planet stuff for us. Uh, I don't know whether we need to go into all that. Have you seen, yeah, maybe we'll just wait until we're ready to build stuff and we'll have a look at what it does. Yeah, plus one life forms for uh, any alien life forms we breed here. So I won't go too deep into that. And we have an interlude from the Book of Planet. Oh, yay, I get to read. I barely talk out loud, little and read out loud, so you'll have to bear with me here. Uh, yes, prime function, Akizade 5. I did, not, I did say thought waves. Dr. Gemma Thinker's wrinkled smile is, is otherworldly. I grinned death's head. Whatever. Uh, the mind worms, definitely, and probably the fungus itself. Even after transient human thought patterns are isolated, a complex wave... A complex wave dynamic remains, and there is good reason to believe that there's there's at least some ment mental ment <laughs> meditation is taking place. Oh my God! Uh, how tongue-tied am I? Uh, you're telling me that this stuff thinks. You say have hardly not quite prepared to buy into the idea. If so, it's a remarkable different manner of thought than that of humans. But the basic cognitive feedback loop is present. Dr. Gemma Thinker leans forward and gestures towards a graphic on his data link st uh, stylus. The most striking thing about is the loop's ability to jump from creature to creature, each fungal spore acting as a synapse. The spores and worms as individual creatures are insignificant, but the feedback across fungal bloom or the mind, worms bo or the mind worm boils is impressive, so they actually uh, communicate with each other. Which uh, I guess, yeah, I guess if every life form on the planet is actually uh, like a brain cell, then it all thinks together, which means the entire planet is uh, alive. And I think that's where the story goes with this. Uh, how long can it keep jumping? Now your curiosity has peaked. It has crossed the threshold into self-awareness, or has it crossed the threshold into self-awareness? Uh, difficult to say. In theory, a power wave could reverberate clear around the planet, but, this, but the distances involved would make true self-awareness problematic, perhaps a quasi-sentient state similar to our dreams. So it's not quite conscious, but it is sentient. Okay, that's uh, kind of scary. And one thing I did notice in the previous episode is we got Planet Busters, and that is something we really do not want to use, or I will have every mind worm in the, on the planet coming at us. Uh, I think I saw a Let's Play once when a guy used a bunch of those, and oh my god, the retaliation was just unreal. So we definitely want to avoid that at all costs. 
uh, orbital power transmitter transmitter plus one energy all bases we're doing pretty good on energy right now so uh, probability sheath tachyon field all defenses 100 percent might be useful construct soil enricher super former centauri psi tachyon bolt uh it sounds like a weapon theory of everything that's always a good thing Gene Jack Factory, Minerals, More Drones. Uh, let's try this. Production complete. Uh, okay, we got a Trans Photon Garrison. This is probably the one we rushed last turn, I think. Yep. All right, so we have two minerals. Uh, hmm, pretty new, one, cit or one citizen, so it's not working too much right now. Uh, let's just maybe get some basic stuff in here. Uh, Maybe a children's crush. It's about the cheapest thing. Oh, command center. Yeah, children's crush is about the the cheapest thing, and it'll it'll uh, help with growth and everything. So we'll go with that. Production complete. Okay, and okay. There's another garrison that we rushed last turn. And what are we doing here? Yeah, we have three citizens in here. It looks like we have some overlap on the cities. That's shaded out. Um, Okay, let's just see what we can build here. Maybe another children's crush. Recreation commons. Yeah. Okay, we'll go with this. Could get another network node, but I think this will be our, our basic uh, build first to go to. You thing. see in this dome the intermingling of native and earth plants. Outside, they are competitors struggling over the trace elements required for life. Often, one destroys the other. Here they are attended with care and kept well nourished. They thrive together, and the native fungus does not unleash its terrible defenses. As you can see, competition is unnecessary when resources are plentiful, and population growth is controlled. Lady Deirdre Sky, Planet Dreams. I just noticed we have a trade unit. Uh, I even forget what they're called now. A crawler, I think. And they shunt stuff around, if I recall. I can't even remember how to use those. Anyways, zoom to base control. Okay, so, um, wow. Do we have, uh, oh, what's the equivalent of a barracks in this game again? Uh, command center, I think. Do we have one of those here? Doesn't look like it, it's because I think we need to get some ground troops. I don't see a whole lot sitting around here. I think we're mostly ships and stuff right now. Uh, I don't see the option to build it either. Oh, there it is. Well, maybe we'll throw one of those in. I probably had a different plan for this place, but... Oh, it might be like... Oh, I might have been doing research stuff here. Maybe we'll just stick with that then. Uh, Bioenhancement center. No drones, 50% tech. Ooh, punishment sphere. Let's have a quick look at the help on that. Eliminates both drones and talents at this base. And decreases vulnerability to mind control. Ooh. But reduces lab output. Ooh, okay, no, we don't want that. There's a fusion lab. Increases economy by 50% and labs by 50%. That sounds more like something we want. Yeah, that'll work. Terraform complete. And, oh, looks like Mar has a, what is that again? It's, uh, oh, it's a colony ship, I think. Okay. Um, I'll bring these in. Now, can I attack right off of that? Unit max required ability. No. Okay, we'll have to uh, land first, I guess. There we go. All right. Maybe we'll just move you out of the way just in case. And I'll hit the space bar to skip. And you. We'll head back this way. I'm not sure what you were up to. 
I guess I can take a shot with that. There's two, actually two things here. Oh, the Gaians have a transport underneath us. Yeah, I don't know what's in here. But maybe we'll get that over here to help out there. And again, I'm just going to automate these. Oh, actually, maybe before I do that, I'll settle this. Okay, uh, well, let's just manually build a solar collector there then. And we're still exploring. There's still parts of the map we don't know. Okay, we've got a boat in here which we will activate and we'll bring you over as well. Yeah, if I recall, you don't want to stack units because uh, the collateral damage under uh, will take place under the, any units under the top one. So if we get attacked, then the other ones take the damage as well. Old Civ 2 rules. Okay, I'm going to just hold him here. I think it's hold. Is it fortify F or hold? I think it's hold. Yeah, yeah, it's hold. Hold here instead of fortify. Okay, let's uh, activate this chopper. Uh, I'll take you over here. And we'll hold you here. Oh! That wasn't very nice. How dare you stop me from killing you. Okay, kelp expands, kelp expands. Ah. Say goodbye to your little colony ship. Have a nice day. Oop, no. Grab that, and we'll move you here. Put you back on. Have to wait next turn to get that. Not seen a whole lot of units around. Well, other than the ones that just killed our unit, I guess. I have no idea what would be in here, but let's come on over and see. Terraform complete. And once again, we're just going to automate this. Hmm. Can a helicopter take out? Oh, what are they called again? Uh, jets. Oh, needle jets or whatever they are. Um, I'm not sure. Let's try. Unit lacks required yeah, I didn't ability. think so. Okay, well, I guess we'll just put you back then. Uh, can you? I don't think so. I think it has to be air-to-air -air combat, if I recall. So he's got one he's probably going to have to go back into his city with those i hope i don't think we can do this unit max yeah, required I don't think so okay uh once again we'll just uh automate where did you go <laughs> did he just fly into the city that uh, was a different one Figured he would have improved that, but oh well. Okay, let's settle this first. I think that's probably where I was going with that. So let's build a base here, and then we'll automate all this. I don't know why. I, was, I guess I was in a hurry to get this all done. Okay, Omicron Quadrangle. Okay, that's fine. I'm not going to bother rushing that, but okay. So now we'll automate. Because I don't think if I didn't have the base there, they probably want to come back here and do stuff or something. So we will fully automate. Yeah, same with you. And same with you. Like I said, I think at this point the AI will do a better job than me. So, uh, oh, you got an alien artifact on you. 
I'm going to get you to a network node. So I guess come over towards this. Wow, what was that? Where was that? Geothermal shallows. Where was that? Over here, I think. Ah, oh, there we go. Whoa. Nice. Yes, that's, uh, I think the plan here is money and science. Wow, that's fast. That is super fast. <laughs> I can't even tell what's going on. <laughs> Production complete. Okay, we got recycling tanks built here. I probably should have built a pressure dome. I was probably in a hurry to get it done, maybe. Yeah, because that counts as a recycling tanks as well. Okay, you got the basics. Uh, let's just have another look here. And yeah, not too great. Hmm. What is that? Chaos Interceptor. Let's actually Production. activate that. Why do I have stuff inside cities here? Oh, that's that one. Why did you come in here and hold? I automated and we went in there and just went to sleep. Uh, mind that. Okay, let's see what else can we get here. Children's crash, the usual. Or recycling tank. But I would rather build the pressure dome on the coast. Yeah, it's probably my mentality there. This builds quicker. Um, well, let's go with this. And then maybe we'll do the pressure dome after or something like that. Yeah, because uh, being on the coast, I mean, if the, the land gets lowered here, then we lose the city or the base. Unless we have a pressure dome. Terraform complete. Okay, there's that needle jet now. Stockpile energy, no. Let's get what we got going on here. Growing pretty pretty slowly, so maybe we'll get the aqua farm. And yeah, I don't know why that was. Maybe it was just to hold the. Uh, the city while we uh, built a unit, maybe. But I might. Can I reach over there? Probably. Uh, you have 11 moves. It'll 12 to get there, so we'll be there within two turns. So off you go. Oh. No, you need to go over there. Thank you. Keep going. I guess we're at war with them, aren't we? I guess that's why I keep stopping. Hang on. Yeah, I still kill them. All right, and then we still have room to get in there before we run out of fuel. Perfect. And let's bring you. You can kill this stack. Yeah, got some damage, anyways. Okay, there's another farmer. We'll automate him as well. Fully automate. I'm guessing I came over here to do more of those. But, yeah, I think we'll just automate as well. All right. Uh, yeah, he took his jets back in. Now I'm guessing next turn he's going to bring them back out. So maybe I'll just kind of back off of at least this one. Get back in there and heal up a bit. Oh, no, no. No, we'll just hit the space bar. I don't know whether I can attack the city with a chopper. Uh, try it. Yeah, the odds, odds aren't very good, but... Uh, 
Harden status. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go move there first, and then we'll do this. No idea what just happened there because we flipped away too quick, but oh well. And once again, we'll just automate you. And we have a colony pod. I'll try and get over here if I can. The Gaians are over there, unfortunately. I don't think I have any other troop troops unless they bring those uh, mind worms back up. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Yes, I think I have a very sad lack of ground units. There's one there. That's probably like super old. An impact battery. Yikes. I think you have to be in a city to upgrade, do you not? Pretty sure. Oh, no I don't. Okay. There's so many styles of game, or different games that are this kind of style, you sort of forget what's going on. Uh, fusion artillery, chaos artillery. And how much do we have? 720 energy? Okay, do that. Make the upgrade. Uh, oh, we got this guy just sitting here too. Let's bring it this way. Yeah, I don't know what else we got kicking around for, uh, ooh. Well, oh, there's a colony pod sitting here. Really? I could probably stuff him in here or something. Yeah, maybe. Not sure why I would have had him, uh, like I said, I didn't review too much here. Well, we'll see what happens. We'll bring him this way. If he gets killed, he gets killed. Build another one. Mod recovered. Ooh, cloned our recon rover. Which is absolutely kind of useless up here, but whatever. Wow, I have no idea what's going on there. Production complete. Chaos cruisers. That sounds like a good thing. All right, hang on, I just noticed this place over here is stockpiling energy. Okay, we'll have to come have a look at that. Uh, maybe keep going with those. I'm guessing we have a naval yard, yep. Production complete. Yeah, what's going on here? Well, I'm stockpiling, oh, I got tons of minerals. We can support a few units out of here. Looks like we already are. Uh. Yep, we got a command center, so yeah, crank out some of these ground units. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> we should almost go through and obsolete some of these. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, these planet busters, I don't think we really... They're, they're really effective at destroying stuff, but I don't think we want to use those. Uh, let's look at the help on this. 25% infantry versus base. Oh, that sounds like a good one. All right, I'll build a whack of those. And I probably need transports to bring them over. So maybe we'll switch this up to a transport. Uh, oh, great, we got like two different kinds of transports here. Three different kinds. Cruiser transport, destroyer transport. Uh, I have no idea the difference. Well, just grab one. I'll just build a few of those, or a couple of those anyways. All right, you come over here, Schwer. Okay, so that's, yeah, we got a few things uh, here. Can we upgrade that? Or is it already upgraded? Looks like a high-end unit. Cannot execute order. I can't read that. Yeah, it was cut off by that. Uh, oh well. 
I guess we'll just leave it there. And just kind of looking around to see what else we have. Okay, we got this. Let's zoom in just a little further. There we go. Ooh, that's looking a little pixelated. Yeah, okay. And we will upgrade you. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Sounds like a good one. Yeah, these supply crawlers, I can't remember how they worked. No orders. I absolutely forget how. I think they had contribute to wonders. Am I building wonders? Hunter Seeker algorithm. That sounds like a wonder. Uh, it certainly looks like a wonder. You know what? Uh, let's do that. There's another one here. Okay. Yeah, I forget how to use... I know you can transport stuff around, but whether we actually need to do that, not sure. And there's another former, so we will... Automate that one as well. Disembark. I don't know why that's good land. There's a bit of food here. How come we got a different... Oh, okay. Ah, we got Guyans sitting right here. Howdy, neighbor. <laughs> and there's a transport. We can transport some uh, troops with. Complete. I think I'll just manually do that. Uh, solar collector. And you have that. Now, do we have a network node in here? We do. I don't know whether we have anything connected to it. You can only connect one artifact to a network node, so... Uh, how do I unload that? Oh, there it is. So if we hit H to hold it... Ah, here we go. Link it to our network node, and... This network node is already linked to an artifact. This network node is already linked to an artifact. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Nag, nag, nag. Now, I'm guessing that's still in there. Oh, it's already moved, so I guess we'll wait a turn on that. <clears throat> Anyways, I just noticed we are at about 33 minutes here, so I guess maybe we'll wrap this episode up and we'll carry on next time. And we can watch me blunder my way through this a bit more. I haven't actually taken any bases yet this turn, or this uh, episode, so maybe next episode we'll uh, be able to expand our reach. And I see there's a unit here. So maybe kill that quickly. Oh, okay, maybe not quickly. Okay, pretty quickly. All right, uh, well, I might as well finish this turn up before we go. So there. And is there anything in there? He just dropped that, I think. Ah, got it. Okay. No expansion for you. Oh, and we can't do anything with that. Get out of the way then. Actually, it auto turns, right? So I'm probably just going to end up getting into the next turn. So I better stop here while we're uh, thinking about ending this episode. Well, catch me next time and watch me blunder through some more of this. Until then.